Hi, I'm Allie Mayers. And I'm Harrison Goldberg, replacing Michael this week because someone interrupted mm. my what? Ah. Mm. Oh, hello, Michael. I'm glad you're here. Um, see, because you interrupted me last week, I'm going to be replacing you this week, and there's nothing you can do to get me out of here. Get up. Okay. People these days. <sighs> Just, I can't deal with them. <clears throat> Whoa. I'm sorry, Allie. Where were we? Starting the episode. <clears throat> right, okay. Uh, on to that. Welcome back, everyone, to our second episode of LCC TV. Last episode, you got a small glimpse of what we're all about. But this time, we're going to show you a more wholesome view of what LCC TV is. And now we recap the One Act Poi experience. Two of our field reporters, Kyle Ditto and Brad Ellis, covered the event. So, Jordy, how was your One Act Play experience? Uh, it was very tough because uh, we had a small group and a lot of uh, characters, so a couple of people had to play two roles. In the end, these plays, although they're difficult to do, I guess they do pay off because you do get, you do get a lot of group effort coming into these. Um, it was really challenging and uh, took a lot of hard work, but we came together really well. It's been pretty good. It's a lot of fun. What's your part in your play? Um, I'm the Mad Hatter and the Cook. What was the most challenging uh, part of playing Alice? Um, getting taller and smaller and like... How exactly, how exactly do you do that? Well, we create like, when I get taller, I get taller and everything else gets smaller. Thank you very much, Brad and Kyle, for the One Act Play interviews. A lot of stuff has been happening at LCC recently, don't you think? Now we'll take a break and take a little sneak peek on our new segment, The Top 5. Hi everyone, my name is Allie Mayers and I'm your Top 5 host for LCC TV. This week's Top 5 list is the Top 5 reasons to bring your laptop charger to school with you. So, reason number 5 is that the outlets at LCC are completely free for any LCC student. So Number four is that you don't have to get shut down by the media lab. Do you guys have a charger no. anymore? No. Do you guys have a chart? No. Uh, no. Reason number three is that you can make some extra money by renting out your charger to your friends who didn't bring their own. Do you have it? Reason number two is that you don't have to ask a stranger to borrow theirs. Hi. Um, I, I'm Michael. I, I don't think we've ever um, <laughs> talked or uh, seen each other. Um, can I borrow your charger? <laughs> Never mind! And the number one reason to bring your laptop charger to school with you is you don't have to fail your PowerPoint presentation. No. I, th I, I think your battery no. just died. No! I didn't get to save it! Oh, dude! Dude, that's why you gotta bring your charger to school. Once again, I'm Ali Mayers, and I'm your top five host. Interesting. Absolutely very interesting. I hope to see more of those soon. You will. If anyone has an idea for a top five list, please contact me and let me know. LCC hosted the Junior Round Square Conference last week. It was great. We hosted nearly 100 people and had tons of activities and presentations for them. Plus everyone, even the Peruvians, braved the minus 25 degrees temperature. That's even cold for a Canadian, eh? On the first day, there was a keynote presentation where they learned about homeless children and an organization that helps them. Don La Rue brought over their van and served delicious hot dogs to everyone right before they left for Verdun. I'm here in front of the Don La Rue truck, which will be serving hot dogs Good. to all the Round Square delegates. Have you ever eaten a Canadian hot dog? No, I have not. Do you put maple syrup on your Canadian hot dog? No, oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's keep going. So Sue here is from the Don La Rue organization. So Sue, could you explain us a bit about Don La Rue? Don La Rue is an organization that's been around for 22 years and its goal is to help young people 25 years and under that are either on the, on the streets or uh, are in very difficult situations. All right, so I'm here with uh, some of the delegates from the Junior Round Square Conference. Where are you guys from? Peru. 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 Lima. Lima. Oh, very cool, very cool. And um, so tell us a bit about what you guys are going to be doing uh, this week. We're going to be talking about the cold and like the people and how it affects people, homeless people. That's a lot of stuff to cram into one week. I hope they had a lot of fun. Now we're bringing back the hot seat, which had a tremendous reaction after last week's episode. 
I hear we got Miss Horobjowski this week. It's Horobjowski. <coughs> Horobjowski. <laughs> Just say Miss H. <coughs> I hear that we got Miss H for this week. Hi, I'm Cappy. I'm here with Miss H, and we're in the LAC to do the hot seats. So, how are you feeling, Miss H? I'm feeling great. Okay, good. So, do you want to start? Yes. Okay. So, are you hot dogs or hamburgers? Hot dogs. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Board games or video games? Board games. Desperate Housewives or Real Housewives? Th they both suck. I'm desperate. Okay. iPhone or Blackberry? Um, iPhone. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Um, Gatorade or Powerade? Gatorade. Whistle or bullhorn? Blowhorn. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks or Second Cup? S Starbucks. North America or South America? Uh... <laughs> Um, South America. Okay, football or hockey? Uh, football. Blackhawks or Habs? Uh, Habs. Um, heavy metal or country music? Country music. Milk or soy? Milk. Mac or PC? Uh, Mac. Sandals or flip flops? What? <laughs> flip flops. <laughs> Fruits or vegetables? Uh, vegetables. Mountain or beach? Beach. Um, yoga or Pilates? Yoga. Okay, thank you, Miss H, for doing the hot seat for us. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. That was a grace. Wow, Cappy's really good at that. Now, Mr. Jernigan would like to let you all know that the senior school is starting an indoor soccer team. Also, next week is Arts Week, so we'll be having arts-related activities all week long, starting with Cafe Cabaret on Monday and Tuesday. And after next week, everyone can get very excited okay. because it's March break. Raise little hell, raise little And now it's time for our weather report with Harrison Goldberg. <clears throat> He's unpredictable, just like the weather. Thank you, Michael Nally. Welcome to the weather report. Ladies and gentlemen, roll up your socks because we have a cold. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Very funny. So, there's a lot of snow this week and. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, guys, let's just let's be professional, okay? Right, this week's forecast for the week. Okay, Michael, <laughs> let's try to be professional here, okay? C that's, not, that's not funny. All right, come on, come on, Michael. All right. Anyways, for this week's forecast, on Tuesday we have... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, breaking news story, Michael Bodge is going to get punched in the face. No, no. Oh. <laughs> well, that wraps up our second episode of LCC TV. As usual, if you want to join us here at LCC TV, all you need to do is send me or Ali an email on First Class. And you can also send our amazing, astonishingly perfect and amazing director Jeff Morris a First Class message to get in contact with him too. Signing off, I'm Michael Bodja. And I'm Ali Mayers. Stay classy.